uh, in the last few lectures rather we have discussed about uh, stresses acting at a point, transformation of coordinate axis, determination of uh, principal stresses and the eigenvectors which represents the direction cosine matrix which will be useful for transformation. In this uh, lecture we will try to see a small example demonstrating this. So, we are discussing about determination of principal stresses and normal vector. So, given a stress tensor acting at a point which is sigma and the components are given, we are asked to determine the principal stresses and the normal vector that is eigenvectors for the specific principal axis. Now, we know the characteristic equation is sigma minus lambda i equal to 0 which would diagonalize the given stress matrix. So, if you write that sigma minus lambda i will give you lambda i, i is a unit identity matrix. So, 8 minus lambda minus 6 2. So, the diagonal elements will become 8 minus lambda, 7 minus lambda and 3 minus lambda. Now, if you uh, expand this, uh, you find the determinant, you will get minus lambda cube plus 18 lambda square minus 45 lambda equal to 0, the last component becomes 0. I strongly suggest you to go through and you do it by yourself. So, solving this equation, you will get the eigenvalues lambda is equal to 0, 3 and 15. Now, what are these eigenvalues? These eigenvalues are nothing but the principal stresses and you can arrange this in a diagonal matrix form. So, this is sigma 1 equal to 15, sigma 2 equal to 3 and sigma 3 is equal to 0 is the principal stresses or the eigenvalues. It is an eigenvalue problem which we have obtained. So, now we are left with determination of normal vectors or eigenvectors. Now, if you use this equation, this also we have explained during the lecture, sigma minus lambda i into n is equal to 0 is the equation. Now, what we have to do? We have sigma minus lambda i which is this, the normal vector that is n x, n y, n z that is equal to 0. Now, for the first we have the eigenvalues lambda which is already there which is 15, 3 and 0. So, first let us put lambda equal to 0 in this equation and you will get same matrix n x into 0. You will get a system of equations where 8 n x minus 6 n y plus 2 n z equal to 0. Similarly, there are other 3 equations. Now, we already know that the determinant sigma minus lambda i is equal to 0. This means that the row or the columns, they are not independent. Hence, these equations may not be independent equations. So, we may have to use or not we may, we have to use this additional equation n x square plus n y square plus n z square is equal to 1. So, this we already know. So, using these equations, we can solve for n x, n y, n z by putting lambda equal to 0. This will give n x equal to 1, n y equal to 2, n z equal to 2. Similarly, we have to put lambda equal to 3 and 15, the other eigenvectors can be determined. So, it will give you n x equal to 2, 1 minus 2 and 2 minus 2 and n. So, this is how we find the principal stresses and the corresponding transformation matrix. Okay? So, with this uh, we finish uh, this part of the problem, we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.